Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, I'm super excited to share with you my experience with the brand new Vivo X100 Pro. Now I have to thank Vivo Malaysia for flying me out here because I managed to spend a couple of hours with this device and in today's video, we're going to focus sort of like on a first impressions with what you can expect from the Vivo X100 Pro. Now I've actually spent a couple of hours outdoors and I took like a few hundred photos. So today's video is going to be based on my experience based on those few hours of usage it should give you sort of an expectation on what you can expect to see from this particular flagship. So without further ado, let's begin the video right away. Now before we start things, I think the first thing that I want to share with you is actually in terms of the design. Uh, let's just get that out of the way. We have these colorways here with me today, one in black, one in blue. There's of course a couple of different colors as well. But basically from this design, you can see that it is very, very uh, similar to what you see on the X90 series. So when you just take a look at the phone itself, you will know instantly that this is Vivo's ID identity and that is what they are going for. Number two, a very very key factor here is actually all about the cameras at the back. Now Vivo has always been pushing their phones, their flagship phones especially to be sort of like the camera replacer. So what do we have this time around guys? Well first of all we do get a very nice one inch sensor. So I know the Xiaomi 14 series they did not use a one inch sensor. They are using something smaller but they are claiming it's as good but the one inch sensor here is actually very very good guys. Other than that we also also get in an upgraded sort of like telephoto lens. It's a 64 megapixel unit and it does like 4.3 times optical zoom. Uh, I'll show you guys that later on. And of course, you also still get an ultra wide on board. And there's one final lens at the bottom that I'm not really too sure what it does. Well, what's so cool about this camera guys? Let me show you. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to turn on my screen recording straight away so you can see what I'm uh, talking about right away on the camera itself. Now you can see on the screen here that there are a couple of different zoom levels. And what Vivo has done here is actually very similar to what was done by another brand. I'm not going to say it, but there's actually a couple of lens presets in the camera itself. So check this out. We have our 0.6, we have our 1, and notice that if I tap on 1 again, it shows me 28mm. If I tap on it again, it goes to 35mm. I can go on to my 2x zoom, which is what you would normally think. You press it again and you get that 50mm. The same goes for the other lenses as well. You can see, whenever I just tap on that zoom, I do get a couple of different options, and I've calculated the total number. We have, I think, like 12 or or 13 different sort of like lens presets. So very, very interesting there. Now moving on very quickly to the portrait mode guys. Notice that in portrait mode, everything is calculated in terms of what you expect from a real camera. So you have your 24 mm, 35, 50, 85 and 100. And of course, if you just go into that Zeiss setting, you can see that we do have a couple of different kinds of you know bokeh effects that you can play around with the camera itself. So very, very interesting here on the Vivo X100 Pro. Now after taking a lot of shots guys, uh, one really, really cool thing that I noticed here is that uh, the changing in terms of the lens whenever you're taking a video. So say for example, you're jumping from 0.6 to 1 to 2 to 4. Whenever you do all those zooms, guys, it happens instantly. And this is actually pretty interesting because I tried the iPhone 15 Pro Max as well as the Google Pixel 8 Pro and they all tend to like take about a second to adapt to the new lens. However, for the Vivo X100 Pro, it actually happens instantly, guys. It's so fast. You don't even see anything happening in between and the fact that the white balance is controlled so consistently across the different lenses makes everything super seamless. That's the key word that I want to go for here, guys. It's the word seamless. It doesn't matter if you're zooming how far, it will always be almost instant, guys. You won't even notice the lens changing whenever you go from one times to two times or even four times, which will then kick in that optical zoom lens. So pretty, pretty interesting stuff there. Now, just in terms of the image quality, like I said, I actually took uh, more than 100 shots. I'm actually very impressed with the photos here, guys. Now, you can see that the pictures here naturally takes a lot of detail. With that one inch sensor, it's just bringing a lot of light, guys. And the photos looks very, very true to life. Other than that, you can also expect dynamic range to be excellent. Obviously, I'm having some pretty good weather here in Beijing and uh, the final photos will definitely depend on your kind of weather that you're having in your respective countries. But just on my first impressions alone, the picture quality is just amazing. Now, I just want to touch very quickly on the video capabilities as well since we're talking about the cameras here. Well, the videos, uh, again, I think Vivo has improved the OIS on board. You guys might already be aware that Vivo is calling their phones like cinematic and all that. But just taking videos with this camera itself is again an improved experience compared to its predecessor. 
I noticed that everything was very stable. I was taking videos not just from the car itself, I also tried walking around. And again guys, uh, so far my first impressions about the video is very very positive. A lot of good uh, features to capture here. One day I'll try and do a comparison with the best which is the iPhone 15 Pro Max. But so far guys, the camera, the video is doing very very well. Haven't tested the night photos yet, I'll do that in my full review. Alright, so having said that, that's just my first impressions of the Vivo X100 Pro's camera. So what else is really interesting about this device? Well, the processor is actually super cool here as well. We do have the Dimensity 9300 processor and it's the most powerful Dimensity processor to date. In fact, it is supposed to fight against the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. So you can expect some pretty crazy good uh, experiences here uh, in terms of your gaming and all that. Of course, like I've said, I've only spent a couple of hours. So I will show you a very quick Antutu benchmark score just to give you sort of an idea of where it stands. But ultimately, it's supposed to be a flagship processor. So in terms of power, uh, definitely you are again getting the best from them density on the Vivo X100 Pro. Now a couple of uh, small stuff that you might want to know maybe is of course the display at the front. Now the display is actually very similar to the X90 Pro to its predecessor. It's still the same 6.78 inches, 120 hertz AMOLED display. You also get that same resolution so nothing much to talk about that there. It's still curved on the sides as well just in case you are wondering. And in terms of the battery, I can't really confirm the battery size yet but I know that it supports 120 watt fast charge because the charger that came in the box is a 120 watt unit. Um, other than that, it's also IP68 rated. That means that if you are going to be taking photos in the rain or maybe underwater, uh, you do not have to worry too much about your phone getting damaged. So yeah, that's pretty much my first impressions on the Vivo X100 Pro. Again, very exciting stuff here. People keep telling me that phones are getting boring guys, but I definitely don't think that's the case. Uh, there's a lot of cool tech that's going on in the Vivo X100 Pro. Fantastic camera so far. Again, very strong performance that you can expect. But yeah, let me know what you think about the Vivo X100 Pro. Uh, if you have any further questions or any suggestions that you want me to test out, let me know down below as well. With that said, thank you for watching today's video all the way to the end. Always appreciate you guys staying here with me. Don't forget to drop a like as usual, sub to the channel if you want to see more content, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Do take care and stay safe. Bye-bye.